Arbitrum Airdrop, uh, this is a layer two solution for Ethereum. If you're not familiar, it's talking about decentralization. So for everyone here, you know, we've been talking, preaching decentralization for quite a few years, but the big thing here is how do we continue to evolve, improve performance when decentralization does slow down? So it's the trilemma it's called of decentralization. So that's performance and uh, decentralization as well as the technologies. And this is where we're able to sometimes participate in the betas for these platforms or networks, and then sometimes they reward us for these efforts. All you need to do, and I'm not eligible, so for me personally, I missed it by about three weeks. Just connect your wallet. So this is where if you're a bridge to Ethereum or a bridge to Arbitrum, transactions, the frequency, you know, the value size, and then assets bridged. So uh, lots of ways to become eligible, but there was that time limit. For those that were eligible, this airdrop was worth about $1,000 or so. For the most part, this is really just going sideways. So short choppy moves. A lot in the news right now as far as the airdrop and the community, there's a lot of people on Twitter that are fairly upset with the way that it was handled because they they basically gave themselves a whole lot of tokens and started selling those tokens before anyone had a chance to vote on the direction. And this is where the discrepancy came in because the proposal was pushed through. They didn't, there was no one that necessarily voted on it and they started selling millions of dollars worth of tokens moving towards that goal. So they pushed it through without anyone's input. So there's not really any point of having a token if you're not gonna listen to the input. The argument is also to the point where it's like, this they knew that this was going to happen this is exactly why it was going on covering the expenses this is part of the regulatory process to be a utility token and not a security is to build the network build everything that you need to do and then issue tokens to the users if you played around with it it's you know 10 cents for a transaction kind of thing versus trying to pay you know engaging with uniswap can be 25 to 50 dollars just for the transaction fees and they've been failing there's a lot of money flowing to arbitrum there's a lot of projects moving to arbitrum and it's high power while they're maintaining a level of decentralization that's much more comfortable so that's one of the big things with ethereum or the drawbacks potentially is the potential for centralization of that stake those that have the most money have the most vote we can innovate faster than they can regulate. We're going to stay a few steps ahead at all times. And of course, we want to be mindful of risks and reassess when we need to. Getting crazy, getting hot, getting wild. And biggest thing is making sure you're seeing results.